after winter, spring came in, flashing with birds and flowers, and the little fir tree was returned to the woods. Summer droned, its bee buzzing days around him, and autumn came and whirled milkweed parachutes past his head. But when the snow fell still and white over the fields, heavy and silent on the forest, the time had come for the little fir tree to be carried once more to the bright lights of the celebration. And it happened. The man in long boots came and carried him back to the little boy. Both the boy and the tree were a little bigger, and the lights seemed even brighter. And again, the children came. Again, they sang Christmas carols and the song they had sung before. Again, they sang the new words to the old, old tune, and they sang and they sang them to the living tree. Oh. All winter long, the fir tree grew in the little boy's window, and then one gentle day, the wind blew warm and the pussy willows bloomed. And the boy's father shouldered the tree and returned with him to the field at the edge of the woods. The tree was growing fast now. Little flowers had sprung up around him, making a young and feathery forest at his feet. Spring warmed into summer, and summer droned into the crisper sounds of autumn. And snow fell early. It fell soft and deep. Okay, can't seem to keep the book open. Here we go. The little fir tree dreamed away and waited for the time that the man in the black boots would come and get him. But the man did not come. More snow fell, and then it stopped snowing, and the air was vast and still and very quiet. But the man did not come. The sun shone down and the stars shone down, but no one came. There was, there he was, a little fir tree, in a big empty field. The big trees in the great dark forest were far away. The stars were far away. And without Christmas, the world seemed big and cold and very empty. And then, in the white and snowy darkness, he heard singing. Far off, he heard the Christmas carols across the frozen fields. The music grew louder and joy of joys it came nearer and there leading the dark band of carolers across the snow with a lantern in his hand came the little boy he was walking walking out to his tree near the forest they came and they decked the tree with shining splendor of tinsel and they hung red berries and apples and cookies on his branches for the birds to eat and they sang the song they had sung before. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, your greenest branches live for me. The end.